Okay, everybody, go to YouTube and type this in by its title. The title is Must See Electronic Harassment, Smoke and Mirrors, uh, and Lies. Look out for your Charlie Cal. That's also his YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to make a couple statements concerning this video, uh, concerning this YouTube video here, and then uh, make sure you research every single thing that I state in this video. Alright, hold on a second. Sorry about that, I had to turn off my phone. Now, fellow American citizens, if this video stops at any point as I'm making it, well, let me just put it to you this way. I got full-powered batteries right now in this camera. Do the perpetrators of organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking, have sophisticated technology that can access any electronic device remotely from a distance that a target individual has in their possessions and or may be utilizing in real time? Yes. Part of it is called remote neural monitoring. Hold on a second, I gotta feed a bird here. Now, to be able to, to witness that our, our, that our electronics are being hacked and even destroyed, you can go to Google and type in gang stalking. Every description can also be researched to first gang stalking, then organized stalking. I also want to apologize for the way I look. I'm out in the cold right now, and so I'm, the, the main objective is to stay warm. Now, you can go to Google and type in gang stalking, computer hacking, cell phone hacking, uh, destroying targets computers, destroying targets cell phones. And in fact, you can even go to Google and type in Best Buy and gang stalking. Because when a target individual's computer and or phone has been hacked and made inoperable, and if they attempted to take it to, let's just say for instance, a place like Best Buy, well, look at what comes up when you type in gang stalker, gang stalking, computer hacking, and Best Buy. Just read what comes up. Now, again, remember, all descriptions can be cross-referenced to first gang stalking, and then in a separate search, organized stalking, and when appropriate, you can YouTube my descriptions as well. Pay close attention. Organized stalking and gang stalking target individuals. One target can be picked for ten different, ten or more different criminal motivations pertaining to why they were originally picked. But once you are picked for this program, it is being uh, it is being acknowledged through uh, strongly impl implied through the strongest possible language possible that once an organized stalking, gang stalking target individual has been put in this program and uh, program, that they, they are kept in it for life. So you can research that as well. Now, there's a manifesto that's on the internet right now that you can go to Google and type in. Uh, it's a manifesto written by a manager of Gang Stalking Crews. I have researched it, cross-referenced it to my experience and the educated knowledge that I have derived from the internet as a result of massive exhaustive research over the years. And so I can look you right in the eye and tell you that it is an factual manifesto of a manager of gang stalking crews because what's stated in it can be folded back on experience and educated knowledge. But make no mistake about it. Hold on. What is exposed in that manifesto is by no means at all what they're involved in, who they are, and what they're capable of. But it does give you a good foundation to build on. Now, so you can go to Google and type in and type in a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know. You'll find it within about five minutes, trust me. It's the best thing to do if you're interested in researching the depth, breadth, and scope of this crime is to print it out or at least paste it into an email file and then section it out by paragraph and then print it out and keep it and then research my descriptions and then research this crime in general all over Google and YouTube and cross-reference it back onto what's exposed in that manifesto. Again, the title of the manifesto is a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know. Now, it clearly states in this manifesto that targets um, of this crime are also considered as lab rats. Now, I want you to listen and pay attention closely, and at any time if this video stops, make, uh, no matter if I'm finished or not, or even in the middle of a sentence, still research what I've stated so far. Now, go to Google and type in DARPA and gang stalking, non-consensual military human experimentation. You can also go to Google and type in gang stalking and the hive mind. Gang stalking in Project 2045, gang stalking in Project Avatar. In fact, you can even go to Google and type in Gang Stalking and Montauk Project. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, 
fellow American citizens. The key here is to take my descriptions, research each one, and then cross-reference what comes up. Look for patterns, look for identical and similar testimonies, okay? And you will see truth. Go to also YouTube and type in United Targeted Individuals Europe.com. I'm sorry. Go to YouTube and type in United Targeted Individuals Europe. United Targeted Targeted Individual Europe Extended Version. That's a YouTube title. Do you notice any brain implants in that YouTube video? Do you see how stalking is mentioned in order to keep the targets in line? And you will also witness concerning how targets are all over the world given their testimony because these expeditions are going on in other countries as well. Now, if you are a victim of gang stalking uh, and a victim of non-consensual human experimentation, whether it's military or not, uh, torture is absolutely and completely involved in it. So I'm going to continue to, to describe some descriptions. Go to Google and type in gang stalking, non-consensual human experimentation, and the computer-to-brain feedback loop. You can also go to Google. In fact, each description I describe just cross-reference it to gang stalking. And then, again, back to organized stalking, separate searches. Uh, memory relay brain implants, memory relay chips, memory relay chips, RFID implants, brain to computer interface implants, EMG implants, stimulated responsive implants, bladder stimulated responsive implants, EMG implants. The computer brain feedback loop is connected to the remote neural monitoring that is, that is nothing but a mainframe computer run by artificial intelligence overseen by human beings and what they do is basically torture and traumatize the target in order to for many different reasons one is to attempt to build a cognitive model based on choice pattern referencing patterns of harassment your choices you concerning how you respond to it and the referencing is basically them uh, uh, indexing and catalog uh, cataloging your responses to the uh, brain stimulation the neural uh, uh, the neural impairment, the neurological uh, torture, and the gang stalking harassment. So the target is literally put in this mainframe computer in reference to their, the biomagnetic field of their brain has been fingerprinted. Once the, uh, free, the resonance frequency of that uh, biomagnetic field has been identified, they incorporate it within the mainframe computer and as a result they can gain a neurological access. You can also go to Google and YouTube and type in Robert Duncan and gang stalking, Robert Duncan and mind control, John Hall, satellite terrorism YouTube videos, and you can Google that as well. Uh, you can also go to Google and type in surveillanceissues.com. Now, as a result of a tar specific, specific target individuals being uh, subjected to remote neural monitoring, remote neural influencing, and even voice morphing, which is basically where they can take the voice print of the target and incorporate it within the computer and transmit uh, harassing dialogue, either through and or V2K, that can be Googled and YouTube, and or through uh, them uh, hijacking into the target's audio cortex, which is what also V2K does as well, along with the microwave hearing effect. This is all incorporated within the same computer mainframe. Now, I'm going to backtrack for a minute. For a minute. Hold on. You can also go to Google and type in UCSD and Law Library. Are they networking gang stalking? Type that in, type that in at Google search box and hit enter. After you hit enter, wait until the, the blog comes up. But before you click on it, look at all the blogs that are that are on the first two websites that come up, including the one that has U of M and HFCC student loan coercement slowly dissect every single thing that's in that blog and you will see the factual realities of what's occurring to me and you will also see the fact that I've been on national radio shows numerous times not only exposing what's happening to me but also talking with uh, Daniel Estelan who's all over the internet exposing remote neural monitoring uh, and uh, the fact that a targeted individual has become part of a computer mainframe and the capabilities of it but he's not describing every capability of it. I literally talked to him on a national radio show. You can go to Google and type in Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. He, he's uh, the national radio show I was on. Bring up his website. Once you bring it up, look at the feature where it says Listen Now. Click on it. A little menu will fall down. Click on SoundCloud. 
and uh, scroll to the 917.13 show that I was on. Also the, I think it was either 0205. 2015 or 0204 2015 with Daniel Estelan and the name of that uh, show was I Humanite, The Deconstruction of Humanity. Now I've also been on a few other shows with Clyde Lewis. The point being is that when I called up the show and talked that night uh, that night when I uh, Dan, uh, Daniel Estelan was on the show I asked him if he ever heard of the Blue Brain Project which is part of the reverse engineering that they're attempting to do to the target as a result of the computer to brain feedback loop neurologically interfacing with the targets of brain and how that is uh, used for torture. Let me give you an example. Whenever you sing a song or even hear listen to your radio you are literally listening to a melody whether what you're listening to has lyrics or not. Whenever you're listening to a song, hold on your right brain is what is listening to it. You're, you're, you're listening to it through your ears, but the right brain is activated because melody is part of the right brain functions. Well, what you can do is when a target listens to a YouTube video with headphones on or not, or a song from the radio, they're able to hear it because the audio cortex has been hijacked. It's been infiltrated. You can also go to Google and type in video implants, uh, video cortex implants, and audio cortex implants that can be put in a target. They can hear what the target hears. They can see what the target sees. That's a capability of remote neural monitoring, which you'll clearly hear Daniel Esselon state as you go to that show link and you hear him talk, uh, him talking to me and him describing this technology. Now, as a result of them uh, recording what you hear, they can then streamline it back into the audio cortex using the computer to bring feedback loop function of remote neural monitoring so the target individual is constantly hearing the song or sections of the song played back in their mind constantly during all their waking hours okay they can also take a section of the song and constantly play it back like like say if you're sitting somewhere for five minutes Two and a half of those minutes, they'll constantly play back either the full song or a section of it. And then the other two and a half minutes, what they'll do is use what is known as voice morphing of your own voice print. Like you hear me talking now, they can take your voice print, put it in the computer and compose sentences. Okay, and then streamline those sentences using your voice prints back into the audio cortex of the target and play it over and over and over again as a loop. Now this is done for repatternizing re the brain in order to try and develop neural pathways, looped neural pathways. That's right, so they can identify the neural frequency of it and then create artificial neural, path uh, neural networks concerning it to be uploaded into robots, synthetic biologies, and you name it, you name it. It's also done for torture and traumatization. They will also streamline sentences in the target's audio cortex like I am being tortured. I'm sick of this shit. Why is this always happening to me? What's the matter with him? What's the matter with her? Uh, they'll even streamline psychologically direction, uh, psychological, I'm sorry, voice morphing uh, statements in your audio cortex like your I am and then say your name, the target's name, being tortured constantly. And this is done to put you in and keep you in a traumatized effect to make you, to make you internalize victimization because you realize that it's being done by an external force. They want you to know they're torturing you. And this is done to keep the target's brain traumatized while they're gaining a neurological access in order to develop these uh, neural loop pathways. Now, what I am telling you is the truth. You can also go to YouTube and type in Brian2, his last name is spelled T-E-W, and look for his YouTube channel and then listen to all of his videos and make sure you look at everything that's in the descriptions of his YouTube videos. Now, I don't agree with every single thing he, he, he states in his videos, but I agree with about 97% of it. I want you to understand what I'm exposing to you right now. Flat out, non-stop neurological torture every day and I also find it interesting and I'm not going to say who's experiencing this but um, hold on a second <clears throat> do you see this tape recorder right here these tape recorders run on the same inductive rate that the V2K is transmitted into the target's audio cortex 
okay, using their ear, including ear implants. Now, it runs on the same uh, inductive rate, the same hertz, that they're transmitting this psychological direction into the audio cortex. So if the target takes their tape recorder and puts it in their hat, all of a sudden they can't hear the V2K anymore. And that is unless they turn it up. And that is because the V2K transmissions is competing with the sound that's coming out of this because it's running on the same inductive rate spectrum that the V2K is being transmitted. Okay, when the V2K is basically what they use to gain a access, it's what they use to transmit the harassing dialogue into the target's audio cortex. So I find that interesting that a specific sound that is broadcasted on the same frequency uh, uh, inductive rate uh, will override anything that they're transmitting. But it, let's, so let's say if you make if you create a a audio file that's 40 minutes long and you put it in your hat to listen to it to block it out they can hear it's being recorded what's being played in your ear then when you take it out to turn it off because for whatever reason they'll play it back in your head they can also play back all internal thoughts thoughts from your sub vocal speech and play it back in your head now the video I showed you at the beginning of this video everything in that video is not the absolute complete truth remote neural monitoring is gauge is uh, accessing a neurological access and monitoring the evoke potentials that are being processed but it's also though monitoring the subvocal speech when you speak even with internal language your speech is coming up right here through your throat right here and right here okay is it has got to do with the processing of the sound of the speech whether it's outward speech or internal dialogue i have felt massive electronic stings on both of these parts of my neck also on the top of my head and massive electronic stings in both of my ears while feeling pressure as it's occurring i'm also suffering from migraines in the back of my cranium in the exact spot that John Hall is exposed to in some of his YouTube videos. Now, what I want you to understand here is that in that video that I showed you at the beginning of this YouTube video, uh, at the beginning of this video, he does show <clears throat> in that video parts of the neck that are being accessed electronically that are being remotely nearly monitored so they can understand subvocal speech even before it's fully processed up into the, all, all the conscious layers. Okay, but make no mistake about it. He's trying to state that it's not possible to read your mind. It is possible to read evoke potentials. And evoke potentials are your neurological processes that are processed through neural activity. So he, he's either ignorant or he's possibly a, a disinformation agent. <clears throat> if he's not, I apologize. But we have to be careful about what we see on the, inf in the internet because it can be confusing. It can mislead your deductions concerning truth. But there is some truth in his video concerning the subvocal speech. Now, fellow American citizens. My name is Leslie Williams. I want you to imagine this happening to you every single day, non-stop. Then, as you go along all your routes, out and about in the community, everywhere you go, businesses, libraries, stores, walking routes, bus routes, individuals are put up along your routes to repeat gang stalk. Oh my God, gang stalk, weird, gang stalk, crazy, gang stalk, suck my dick, gang stalk, gang stalk. The name of the crime that's happening to me and what i meant to say was like like everything that i've stated so far say if that is happening to me and then also experiencing what i just stated everywhere i go people are repeating words and phrases around me intentionally in the same exact identical way and you'll see that happening if you go to that blog that i mentioned hold on now there's three main blogs that I'm using right now. UCSD and Law Library, are they networking gang stalking? And when you access that blog, once it comes up, either go to the very bottom of that blog and click on also where it says May uh, 2016, May 9th, 2016, or over to the left column where it might say that and click on that because that's an updated version of that blog. And then when you type in that at Google, also before accessing the blog, Look at all the other blogs that come up and look for the one that says uh, HFCC and U of M student loan coercement gang stalking. And you'll see the radio show links that I've been on, how important that I am, and everything else that is, that is happening to me. Now, these filthy, maggot, little, criminally insane individuals can also induce speech 
that can force speech and induce speech is another function of this crime. So everything that I just stated to you can be stimulated by them for me to repeat like in a court hearing so they can call me crazy. Or like say if somebody bothers me one day after like after I've been assaulted and then I leave where the assault happened at, go to another place and then somebody starts messing with me, I might call them a psycho maggot mother effort if you know what I mean. Well, they can induce that speech anywhere and stimulate it because it's become part of my vocal patterns that they have choreographed through the subvocal speech monitoring. And then contain me trying to claim that I'm crazy, violent, or whatever. That's why targets had to be careful about what they say, even in normal apparent conversations. Usually conversations that the filthy maggots will, will try to engage you in along your routes using anybody for it literally so you can go to google and type in induced speech and forced speech and remote neural monitoring absolutely these are filthy criminal maggots and that's all they are criminally insane whores this crime is also connected to human trafficking illegal probate control you would not believe what i know hold on So research everything else, single thing that I've stated in this video, and you will see that I'm telling you the truth. I'm in San Diego, California, and my name is Elsie Williams. Now, in closing, imagine you experiencing this every single day while you're homeless, while you're threatened creatively, like through the mail, through text messages, through dark neurologistic programming techniques that are brought about around you, concerning you, along your routes, that you're going to be arrested for illegal lodging and tr uh, trespassing or encroachment, because after they made you homeless, they stalk you to areas you go to rest at or sleep at, and then stage events, okay? Or they'll claim somebody heard you, saw you, or saw your property and called the police so they can have a normal appearing reason to come to where you're at to ticket you or arrest you and then tie you up in court where you're openly abused. Absolutely. <laughs> Go to Google and type in police and gang stalking. <laughs> Look at how many responses come up and then research what comes up. Now, everything that I just stated to you are, is actually happening in real time. Okay. Also imagine go to Google and type in artificial dreams in gang stalking where they're literally transmitting tra traumatizing artificial induced dreams and targets video cortexes while they're sleeping okay while uh, using augmented reality virtual reality and other sophisticated software you can also go to Google and type in electronic rape and gang stalking just do it in fact, go to Google and type in electronic rape, electronic torture, technology, and gang stalking at the post office. That's a book. Also go to Google and type in how nanotechnology is being put in the target. Okay, either through injections, through the skin, through food, and then that nanotechnology works up through the physiological signals and the uh, central nervous system and even the DNA to literally crawl up in and on the target's brain to act as neurotransmitters, to act as receivers, you did, and, and for torture. Can you imagine feeling something crawling on your brain like you would feel a, a fly crawling on your skin? And I'm talking about literally feeling it. And if you buy that book, Electronic Torture, Electronic Rape, and Technology and Gang Stalking at the Post Office, written by Drew, Jewel Cran, she flat out states in her book that she felt something crawl on her brain. You can also go to Google and type in nanotechnology and brain, in the brain. And, and if you research enough blogs that come up, you will see targeting, and always also make sure that you always look at the comments on YouTube videos and that it had been made on targets blogs because a lot of targets will make comments on other targeted individuals' blogs about what's happening to them. I've seen it on three separate blogs of targets stating that nanotech, they have felt nanotechnology literally crawling on their brain. Because it's, what it's doing is it's being injected in the body and then using the physiological signals in the central nervous system to, to literally call up through the biology to the brain and then it's given uh, directional uh, programming to where to go on the brain pertaining to the brain's specific functions of the areas that it crawls on. We're literally being, literally being tortured. Now, knowing that this has been done to you and, and then experiencing everything that I've already stated, you're kept in a non-stop traumatized psychological effect daily while you're made to live in fear because of the gang stalking. 
Hold on. And while your emotional clusters and EEG signatures that are being uh, made and reinforced from the non-stop situational circumstances you've been intentionally covertly put in, like the homelessness, and the non-stop foundational programming of the gang stalking keeps you in, you're having EEG responses, EEG signatures, and physiological responses and emotional clusters as a result of what we experience every day. They're being neurally choreographed and harvested. John Hall talks about that as well. We're flat out literally being tortured non-stop, 24 hours a day, day after day, week after week, year after year, decades even at a time. So research what I'm stating. So in closing, also go to YouTube and type in Timothy W. Bioethics Issues. That's a YouTube video. Then go back to YouTube and type in OSEH, which stands for Organized Stalking Electronic Harassment. OSEH, Electronic Harassment. Type that in at YouTube and look at all the videos come up. You're going to see hundreds of targets testifying before the Bioethics Commission talking about being tortured, about how their brains and, and biological systems are being accessed. And if you watch enough of them, you will absolutely hear them talk about gang stalking. And you'll also hear them exposing the police's participation in these crimes. It's how we can't get out of them because we're kept in line at the local level by their criminal maggot asses. Gotta get San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. Be smart and research every description and you will see truth. And, and again, for the last time in closing, they're also doing this to children. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.